so where do we where do we sit as a company? Um, like I said, there's there's all kinds of robotics, but where we are squarely focused on is a, the space called autonomous mobile robotics. And there's two types: there's indoor and there's outdoor. Indoor is what you see with the you know the Amazon warehouse and the robots running around. There's flashing lights and they're picking out stuff. That's one type of solution. We are taking on the outdoor analog to that. Um, it's a much more difficult problem to solve. You generally can't navigate using physical infrastructure. The, the weather changes. There's all sorts of heterogeneous terrain you have to deal with. That's what we're really good at. So we're focusing on the outdoor applications in autonomous mobile robotics. So whenever you hear me say autonomy, it means autonomous mobile robotics. There's probably three things that come up with companies. One of them is, is my device going to be safe? So does your autonomous platform handle things like obstacle avoidance and other safety issues? The second is, is it going to significantly add to the, the cost or the bill of materials for my unit that's going to drive the cost of, of what I'm doing out of the price range that my customers can afford? And third is, how quickly can we do this? And again, I think that's where we focus really well on that value proposition. We've always been really good at developing the highest performance, lowest cost solution, whether it's our sensors or whether it's our autonomy platform. We've always focused on that. So we, we come in at a, at a really good level of, of understanding that it's got to fit within the customer's business model, not just ours. Second is object avoidance is a key part of what we're doing. Everything from simple bump sensors to LiDAR and sonar and, and other applications Sonar being what you have, the backup camera in your car, all the way up to LiDAR, which is really understanding what the object is and, and avoiding it. The, the key challenge is then what do you do next? And so uh, our path planning and our control is great at telling the uh, robotic device what to do after it encounters the object itself. And then the third part is because we have a full stack solution, all parts of it are exposed via APIs. Um, it's relatively simple for the customer to provide us with a spec that says, you know, here's the diameters of our wheels, here's the velocity of our accelerators, here's how powerful the engine is. It's being driven by either a joystick or a steering wheel or levers, and then we just basically help them write to that API to integrate it. But they're all inputs to us, so it's all kind of the same process no matter what system the customer is using.